Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Um, there was Steve. She just went down to the computer and just turned on my computer. That's how the light is all weird and there's light coming from the script because, you know, I got my computer here for my script because I got, um, smooth brain. So, you know. So today we are doing first aid care 101. A lot of this stuff is very important if you're going to own a first aid and know how to take care of it because it's so sad when you see a beautiful suit and it's absolutely ruined because some some person does know how to take care of their suit and i do see others who are already talking about this but i kind of want to go over some things i haven't seen other furries go over so the first part of this is bathing bathing is very important important for a fursuit because you keep wearing it you don't bathe it and you sweat. Ugh, hi Steve. Your first suit's gonna start stinking. And we don't want no musky huskies. Like, woo. I hate going to conventions and then there's someone that stinks up the whole room. And I'm just like, it's not that hard to wash your suit and wash yourself. Washing yourself is also very important. So wash your suit and wash yourself. Some very important things when it comes to washing your suit is are you going to use a washer or hand wash it just say never ever 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 use a dryer it will ruin the fur it will melt the fur and will give whatever you put in the dryer heat damage i personally use a washer for um, all my suit parts besides the head i will always hand wash my head because i do not trust washers to not completely destroy them. I can trust them more with paws and tails and stuff because, you know, it doesn't really have all the pretty stuff, it doesn't have the teeth, you know, the eyes, whatever other accessories it has. It's just, I can't trust it. <laughs> I also don't trust suit parts that have like silicone on them. Like, I would never trust those, those would always get hand washed, like my paws. They have silicone paw pads. I would hand wash those just out of fear that something's gonna get messed up. Also, another important thing: when washing your suit, never, ever, ever use hot water. It could also potentially melt the fur. And never, ever use fabric softener. It will just make the fur like all gross. Remember, this stuff, the fake fur, is plastic. It will ruin the fur. I'm not so sure about um, felt, the felt I use and put on paw pads. I didn't make these, but the, the paws I do make, I do use felt. I'm pretty sure felt will be okay. And if you are hand washing your suit, make sure you get all the soap and all the water out. It just makes it so it dries a lot easier. And after, after you take it out of the, uh, after you take it out of the washer or you're done hand washing it, Get a fan, set all the stuff up in front of the fan so it can dry off quicker. I'm pretty sure most things will be okay if it just air dries, but it's just avoiding avoiding mold growing inside your heads. You do not want mold growing inside a fursuit head. It is very, very, very dangerous. I cannot stress that enough. Very, very dangerous. Brushing is also super important. You don't want to be looking crusty, but also do not attack people if your suit is unbrushed. Uh, fur can get old and get all crusty, it's just unavoidable. And there's also heat damage. Heat damage can be caused by using hot water or being in the dryer. There is two types of brushes I recommend. I actually have them right here. I, um, here so there's this prickly brush. It has like little, you know little prickly and i also have another brush that has little balls at the end of it this just um it makes it look nice you know but it doesn't pull out as much fur as the prickly brush does well there is two ways to use the prickly brush you can just go brushing like this from my experience it makes the fur look nicer for longer but it does pull out more fur you can also brush this way it pulls out less fur, but it doesn't keep your suit looking as nice for as long. So I would just go with, go with the one you think is best. 
and what you think best for you and your suits. Storing your suits. This is more of an optional one. You can just throw it on the floor and call it a day. Or you could have put it up on a shelf or something. This is more important if you have animals like dogs or cats that might get into it and mess it up. But I have all my fursuit stuff in my closet and it looks super pretty and nice. I honestly love it. I will be showing you after this clip of how I store all my things and where it can go, you know? Okay, so here's where I store all of my suit stuff. I would stay back farther, but um, yeah, I have lights in the way. <laughs> so I keep all my suits, at, suits here. Um, ignore him, he is not finished yet. I store my body suits here. Or to ignore Dan's bodysuit. Um, yeah, hers weighs down a lot. Anxiety stays down here. There's not enough room for her here. So does Mad Dog. He is a very huge head. Um, under Mad Dog is all my feet paws. That's where I store them. This one, you know, this one is my paw drawer. I had it more organized before, but you know, <laughs> it's fine. They they all stay in there. This one is a, a small tail drawer. Um, I also store Kira's arm sleeves in here. You know, just where small tails stay. Unlike the big ones where they're all up here because they, they won't fit in a tiny little drawer. I wish, that'd be so much easier to store them. Down here is just more accessories and stuff. And just for, <laughs> like, uh, for, what's it called? Fur swatches, whatever they're called. Yeah, it's just more first accessories down here. Oh, see here, we have Mad Dog's collar. It gets stored here. You know, all the normal basic stuff. Also with anxiety's part here, this is where I have my fursuit spray. I got that off of Etsy, like I said before. I have a lanyard here with stuff on it. Also, also I'm pretty sure uh, last year at Anther Hyle, I got this for $10 and I have no regrets. It's absolutely beautiful. This is just where I store pins and stuff. I don't know if you can see it because the light is bad here. Yeah, that's just my pin. Yeah, but that's basically it for here. I tend to store pre-made stuff up here. Uh, this suit is currently for sale. Those are just prototype collars I made. You know, just testing stuff. But this, whatever, it's a mutant cat. I don't want to sign it a gender since all the people who buy that sign this cat <laughs> a gender. This, I got this out of a trade. Um, it will be turned into a pre-made once I get around to it. It's basic repairs and sewing. You'll need to learn how to sew if you're going to own a first suit. Seams are going to pop, stuff is going to fall off like teeth, and you might need to glue it back on or sew it on. So it's very important you learn these two really basic stitches, the ladder stitch and the blanket stitch. There's pictures of both of them. It is very important you do learn these because, you know, stuff happens. Maybe you push your suit a little too hard and it, a seam pops. It's not a big deal if you know these basic sewing stuff. And I recommend when going to furry conventions, you bring a sewing needle and, you know, thread, hot glue gun, maybe some hot glue sticks, you know, just for those emergency repairs. I had to emergency repair my friend's suit, and I was very glad I brought that stuff. Fursuit sprays. This is one is a kind of optional. There is fursuit sprays that just make your suit smell good, and some that make your suit smell good, and disinfect them. I personally get all my fursuit sprays off of Etsy. It's a good way to support a small business and get some... <laughs> what? How would I word that? Some good smelling, good smelling stuff, I guess. I will put some links below to some Etsy shops that sell fursuit spray. 
I got this one person spray. It is vanilla, and I absolutely love it. Here is the Princess Etsy shop that I did buy it from. I totally recommend buying from them. Once my vanilla runs out, I'm going to be buying one of their bigger bottles with vanilla, because it's honestly just amazing. I, I love it so much. They do offer more than vanilla. They offer lots of scent. It's, they're just amazing. <laughs> well, that's it for this video. I hope you come back next time. Remember to follow me on all my social medias and check out my Etsy shop. Bye-bye!